Okay, I was kind of on the fence on whether I wanted to do this um, live stream, but for some reason I feel compelled. Maybe I just need to get this off my chest. And, and maybe part of it is just so people understand kind of what I do and, and what I kind of go through. But I was at the thrift store on Saturday. And some, most, some of you know, I threw my back out setting the store up in August. I haven't had, I, I can't stop because the store still needs me. So I've just been kind of working through it. I don't have time to stop and heal. So I go upstairs as least often as I possibly can get away with. And when I was at the store on Saturday, um, I had been upstairs in my office and then I came back down and um, I was you know, busy doing what I do, uh, chief cook and bottle washer, if you will. And um, m one of my employees said, you know, there's a, a couple guys upstairs that want to talk to you, uh, 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 need to speak with you. And I said, I, I don't know, can't you help them? Can you, can you see what they need? And um, he said, no, they said they need to speak with you. They're waiting to speak with you. And I said, well, I don't have any meetings scheduled and whatever. Anyway, they insisted on seeing me. So I go upstairs and and uh, he's in the like the antique section. He's looking at this uh, antique bed. It's headboard and frame and stuff. And and I said, can I help you? And he goes, uh, there's a chair downstairs, uh, that brown leather chair. He said, um, I said, yeah, it's thirty nine dollars. Um, one of my but the cashier had asked me what the price was because the price tag was missing. But, um, and he goes, uh, are you firm on that price? And I go, yeah, we are. It, 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 the prices are as marked. And he goes, uh, any room to negotiate? And I said, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It, it's pretty firm. And then he said, well, what about this, this, uh, this bed? And I said, well, you know, honestly, I'm not even sure that it's even priced yet because a lot of the, we just set up an antique section. I need, I need somebody to help me appraise this stuff and I don't want to pay for an appraisal. So anybody out there listening, if you have any clue on antiques, please come and help me with this because I don't want to give this stuff away and I don't know what I have. But anyway, he goes, yeah, this, this bed is marked. And I said, um, he goes, it's marked, uh, I, th I thought he said $29, but it's actually marked $49. And uh, he goes, what about this? You got any room on this? And I said, sir, I'm sorry, but the prices are as marked. And he goes, you don't barter? You don't you don't haggle? And I said, no, no, we don't. I said, let me explain. I go, there's probably 300,000 unique items in this store. And I said, I, I employ the, the veterans that live at the shelter, and I pay them $15 an hour because I want them. They deserve, not that it's a great paying job, but... It's more than I could really afford, but they deserve it all, all of that and more. <clears throat> and I said, it's very labor intensive to price all these items. And then I, I'm just not staffed and I don't have the time to come back and, and, and haggle, you know, over a few bucks. I, I really, I just don't, I'm sorry. And um, he goes, well, isn't that part of the, and he's like snotty with me. Isn't that part of the uh, business that you're in? And I said, no, it's not. I said, you don't go to Salvation Army and haggle with them. And he goes, well, I do. And I go, well, good luck with that then. And I just walked away. So a few minutes later, this couple, well, they these guys like stomp out of the store, right? Didn't buy anything. And then this, these, this couple came in right behind them. And they said, these two guys as they were walking out and this couple was walking in, this, this guy says to them, don't, don't spend any money here. These people are rude and nasty. And I, I was so upset, but honestly, I, I just had to let it go because whatever. I mean, there's just idiots everywhere, but on Sunday, he called. Now he called, but returning home and I'm, I get calls 724. So the calls forward to me when I don't have office staff on the weekends. I didn't hear my phone ring. I wish I would have because I would have loved to talk to this guy. I would have given him the mouthful that I'm going to share with you guys today. My thoughts anyway. But he leaves this message and he said, I was at your store. 
on Saturday, and he said, I just want you to know that um, you were absolutely rude, and I will never shop at your store, and I'm going to tell everybody how awful you are. And he says, and for the record, my brother is a veteran, and we were in there, and we were prepared to spend at least $100. He said, um, but you had to be so rude. And he said, and how dare you claim to be helping veterans and then being rude in the community? So here's my thought on this. Had I had the opportunity to say it to him, I volunteer on average about 70 hours a week. And I've been doing this for almost 10 years. In this store, I personally have now spent $131,000 getting this store set up. You know, I had to do the sign. I had to paint the inside. I had to move some walls. I had staff to carry in these 300,000 items and build shelving and all kinds of stuff. And I'm not complaining. I'm happy to do it. I'm not happy, but I didn't want to spend that much, but whatever. My point is this. What I wanted to say to this guy is, so you were going to spend $100, but you want to beat the crap out of me on a, on a $39 chair, a leather recliner chair, not actually not a recliner, a leather kind of rocker chair. Um, not, you know, it wasn't great shape, but it was definitely worth more than 39 bucks. Oh, and the other thing he said to me is, he goes, and that price is as is. I go, sir, it's a thrift store. Yes, everything is, you know, I mean, we do have some new items, but most everything is is gently used. I mean, it is as is. And um, so he wants to he wants to beat me up on the price. But for the record, any profits they make out of the store goes to feed the homeless veterans. So if he wants to beat me up from a thirty nine dollar chair and get it down to twenty nine dollars, who suffers for that? It certainly isn't me. I'm a volunteer. You know, I, I don't under I don't I don't know if people like understand that. It's like he thought he was doing me a favor by beating me up on the price and 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 all he's doing is just taking food right out of the plates of these veterans that I'm trying to feed and serve over 800 meals a week out of vets returning home and 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 house 43 we have 43 beds there. Um what I really wanted to say to him is, you know what? In 10 years, I've housed almost 2,000 homeless veterans. I, I spent my entire retirement account setting up Vets Returning Home. And now I got over a hundred grand trying to launch the store so that we have, you know, the financial revenue stream, continuous revenue stream, and I don't have to go out and beg money every month to keep the doors open. You know, what I do is hard. And and I, I just get frustrated when, you know, you, I, I can't please everyone, and I, I guess, I don't know. I am looking for feedback. If anybody has any suggestions, or, am, uh, you know, am I wrong here? Because I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm missing, but that I, this, I don't think I've been this angry. I don't remember. I don't remember. I just thought it was disgusting, and now this guy's, like, throwing it back on me, and now he's going around you know, chasing customers away and, you know, threatening to trash us all over town, whatever. I mean, he's not going to hurt the big picture of things, but it just, it's bothersome. Um, somebody's asking for the address of the store, and I don't know it. Uh, it's on Gratiot, about three or four blocks north of 12 Mile on the left side, three doors down from the Roseville Police Department. Huge red awning. And um, thank you for your interest. Um, I, I'm not doing this for the record. I'm not doing this post to, to, to gain more awareness, although that is good for the store and it is good for the vets, so I'll take it. But that's not what this is about. It's not to promote the store. It's just, you know, I'm my team. We're powered primarily by volunteers. We're trying to make a difference in this world. And um, 
You know, sometimes we're not perfect. I can't cross every T and dot every I when I'm running a hundred miles an hour. Sometimes it's like a, being a bull in a china shop and we're doing the best we can. And, uh, I don't know. I just think the world is getting weird and, and, and people just don't see things through and, and, or think things through and just, they don't care. They don't care about people. They don't care about community. I, and I, I, and I'm, I know that those of you that are listening are my followers and our supporters. And you guys do everything you can to help. And I thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. And this is not directed at you. It truly is just my, my rant. And I'm upset. And thank you for letting me vent. Um, Hope all is well and pray for us and pray for our veterans. Thanks.